the next interview question number five so what is the difference between the move command and assembly constraint in the assembly so now if you go here assemblies so we also have a move command and there are assembly constraint here okay suppose if i go to move command here and now if you see inside this move command there are by constraints okay so all these constraints are same as these constraints okay so now the interview question is what is the difference between these two okay so let us understand what is the difference so now i'm just going to move command and i'm just going to select this particular component okay so once i select this component i'll just go to by constraint and i'll select this concentric so now i'm going to select this line and as well as this circle so now you can see i have just moved the component so this particular component has been moved by using a constraint called concentric so what happens here is it is just moved so it is not constrained now you can see here it is unconstrained even if you just right click and go to move here and now if you take a dynamic view and just try to move it so it will move so but when it comes to assembly constraint so it will have a constraint and it will restrict the degrees of freedom so we'll just go to concentric here and now i'm going to select the same circle here and again same circle here so now if i click ok you can see this particular component is being constrained now see this is the component and i'm just trying to move it you can see even if i am dragging it it is not moving so this is the difference between the move and uh, you know assembly constraint guys move will just move the component from one position to another position and it will not restrict any degrees of freedom but assembly constraint will restrict the degrees of freedom thank you guys